Hey YouTube, this is Andrea here. And Andrea. And we're both here. Yay. Yay, hello, how you doing? Anyway, we are going to be recycling. So everyone gets medication at some point in their life and they end up with these plastic bottles. So what we're going to do is take first thing you're going to want to do is take a drill and drill a hole into your cap and use a pencil as a guide for going in and out. <laughs> Making sure the pencil can go inside the hole. Anywho, let's get our minds out of the gutter, people. And we're not going to be using rhinestones this time. I just want to show you why you're putting that hole in the cap. So this is the cap, and this is the um, sharpener. And all I did was I drilled the hole, and then I positioned the sharpener over the hole, and then hot glued it down. So... Let me plug into my hot glue, and I will be right back with it hot. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back, and we got the hot glue gun here. Um, as I have left off, you want to um, make sure your sharpener fits in the hole there, and then it just places right in here, and you close it just like you would a regular medicine bottle. So... Let's get started on getting a sharpener for this particular lid. And I just want to tell you, you get tw we got these at the Dollar Tree, and you get 12 in a pack. And they, they're really cute. They come and they, a, sorry. Well, go ahead. They come Hi, in, Dre. Hi. <laughs> they come in a variety of shapes. Stars, hearts, circles, and rectangles. Or regular sharpeners. <laughs> I guess. I is guess. what you'd call them. Yeah. But they sharpen really well uh, mm -hmm. for a, a buck. Um, anyway, so you want to pick one that's uh, going to fit inside your casing well. And like this star one is not a good candidate for this particular bottle. But for a bigger bottle, it would be. Um, but we're going to go, I think we're going to go with this blue one. It goes in just fine. So that's the first thing you do is um, glue your sharpener into your lid. So what I do is I put a, a ring of glue around the hole that I created. And you will need an X-Acto knife um, for this project because you're going to want to trim off the glue before it sets too fast. And then you just m make sure that that fits right in the hole. Voila! Just like that. And you're done. <laughs> really, you are done if you don't want to decorate it. Um, this is it. So you would just take it and put it on and sharpen your pencil. Um, but if you have kids or other, you're an adult like me that likes pretty blingy stuff, <laughs> then you'll make one for yourself. This one I'm making for uh, Dre. It's going to have this iridescent sticker paper on there. And I have some butterflies from the Dollar Tree. So that's what I'm going to use to decorate this bottle. So we're going to set the lid aside and let it dry. And it, this is plastic gluing to plastic so this is going to hold up pretty well. I mean your kids got to stick it in their mouth and start chewing on it for it not to work well. And considering how old I am, I don't plan on chewing on it, so we're good. <laughs> we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. We're okay. We're all right. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I forget where I got this. I know Grandma gave it to me, but I forget where we got it. Oh, I've It's no called Funky Peach Rain. 
which is really cute paper. And it's just, it's like aluminum. Very iridescent. Even on the sticky side. But because we're using it on this bottle, I want it to not get all crunkly. <laughs> crunkly? Crunkly. Is that a new word? Yeah, I got a new word for you guys. It's called crunkly. And you spell it the way it sounds. Yeah. K-R-U-N. <laughs> I was going to go with the C, but you know, <laughs> to each their own. I knew you were thinking it was going to be with a C, that's why I said K. Yeah. See, and I still have extra left. That's pretty, huh? That's gorgeous. I still have more left because I have to cut it down here, too. Yeah. But this is very pretty. It's a rainbow. Yeah. It's almost pink. Yeah. I think it's so iridescent, it could be almost any color. It's almost rainbow. There's some more right there. Yay! I get to play! Yay! So, I just, that was a big sticker. And, and I, like I said, it was called Bunky Peach. And I believe we got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, but decades ago. Yeah, probably decades ago. Well, it's very pretty. There's no full number on there. So, I'll let you guys see for yourself if you can find that but that's how it turned out not crunkly not crunkly yeah <laughs> came out pretty cool I think it's pretty already huh yeah and we're done <laughs> <laughs> but you got this little piece and we can use this little piece for the top just for the very circle on top which is really nice Hey, guess what's coming out on the 20, oops, on the 22nd, the 22nd. Of this month? Yeah, I think it's this month. It's the 24th. What is? Independence Day. No, I'm talking about the 22nd. What comes out the 22nd? Star Wars. I mean, Star Trek. Star Trek. Oh, okay. I was going to say Star Wars already came out. <laughs> Look how pretty. That is pretty. And this is where your um, X-Acto knife comes in handy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put an old um, wine cork on top of my X-Acto knife. And, you know, when you have people that are a little clumsy like myself, <laughs> you want to safeguard their hands. You want to child-proof everything. You do. And you don't even have to be a child to do that. But this is where we're going to go in to that center that we created before for the sharpener. I forgot what we were talking about too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. It's going to stick to your hand. It's just sticky. I got it. No. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. And voila. That's it's very cute. Huh? Beautiful. Okay. Almost done. Oh. Almost. So here is where I want to cut a strip to go around the lid. Yeah. So I think I want to cut it long way. You know what I'm excited for, and it's not anytime soon. The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, I know. Negan. 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 I want to know who died. You think they died, or they just had a... Um, a facial surgery? No, they died. He said, so? he said it cracked like a watermelon. They died. Uh -huh. And he didn't stop hitting, so they're That's dead. messed up. And that was after he said, I'm not going to kill any of you. Whack! Well, if he wasn't killing any of them, then who did he kill? 
because maybe he didn't kill any of them. And then you want to take your sticker and go around your lead like so. Hmm. That's a good question. Maybe he killed one of his own people. For letting Rick get in the way. Yeah. Because he was having a, a hissy fit or whatnot. He was PMSing. He was. He was singing that Mary Jai. Mary, Mary Jai. <laughs> Mary Jai. Mary J. Blige song. PMS. Yes. <laughs> Mary Jai. <laughs> That's our accent coming out, our true accent. Yeah. What's that? The Irish, English, Welsh. Oh. The grandma accent. Pretty! Yes, it's turning out so cute. Ah, uh, turning out, which means we're not done yet. <laughs> well, I have the butterflies. I so know. I'm going to put butterflies on. She loves butterflies. I adore butterflies. She oh adores God. them. My so room is full of butterflies. Yeah. Not not dead ones, or living ones. Yeah. She didn't go out, kill them, and put them on a... And Whoa. pin them to a, a mat. Yeah, that's I always gross. thought that was so mean of people to do. I thought it was creepy. Yeah. But, anyway. To he, each their own. Humans... Humans are weird. Oh, hey, they're holographic, too. Yeah, that's cool. And they're 3D. Mm -hmm. They're coming at you. <laughs> that's like, like that old guy in that commercial <laughs> where he's holding the, um, the, the thing you fish with, the fishing rod. Uh-huh. And he's got on his <laughs> fishing suspenders <laughs> and he's all oh you're, you're too late <laughs> oh that's not a fishing commercial that's for like Allstate or something yeah I didn't say it was a fishing commercial I said he's dressed like a yeah fisherman. no he's got a dollar on the thing he's like you could save a dollar <laughs> oh too, too late, late. <laughs> I love that commercial that was crazy <laughs> Look how pretty! Oh my god! That is gorgeous. You want to feel it? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. It feels like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll put one on this side too. Okay. Would that be too much? No. All right. I wish they had little miniature ones that oh. I could put on the lid. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? That would be awesome. I think I can do one on the lid anyway, though. Maybe. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, you're gonna do it now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at it, and the hole is still there. That is so pretty. There we go. And there's the sharpening. See, and it works just great. Just put your little. Knock that in there. It fell on the side. Did it? No, on the side of the bubble. Oh. Look how cute. That's you could, adorable. You hold that while I get the other butterfly on here. That is so cute. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we don't get out much. <laughs> And that commercial is so old. It's very old now that I remember it. Oh, that's so cute. Let's I love it. Okay, let's put the lid on. Because guys, we're done. I mean, that's it. How cute is that? It's so simple. You could do this with your kids. They're going to have a blast. Get some stickers from the dollar store. Um, 3D or flat, whatever you want. Or Get puffy. Some, or puffy. Get some rhinestones if you want. I think you're going to have a blast making these. They turned out so cute. That is so pretty. I love it. I love it. You're going to use it all the time now, aren't you? I'm going to use it all the time. And I'm going to repeat you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh. It matches my room. It does. Huh? Whoop, 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 whoop. 
It's going to fly away. This is so cute. Okay, so have fun with that, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking a peek at some of the crafts that we do. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you have any questions, I'll try and leave them below as well, and I'll try to answer them um, as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.